Hello, Tech Retrospective fans. It's your favorite host, Jacob. And I'm back today with a very fun unboxing video. Today we're going to be unboxing this Commodore VIC-20. Um, we picked this computer up because it was one of the computers I mentioned in our Christmas wish list video. I said, hey, I really want to pick up a VIC-20. And then we did. True story. And check out that video. Maybe it'll be, you know, a teaser to see some of the other computers we might pick up. Hmm. And uh, we're going to get started. So this is the VIC-20. And this is my absolute favorite type of retro computer box because it's got the real life pictures on it. And I love looking at them. There are so many interesting details. You've got the kid in the striped shirt that seemingly every child in the 80s owned. The dad's in both photos in the playing games with the kids. They're playing some Space Invaders type game to uh, doing some sort of important businessy work on it while drinking coffee. That's the most important part. Um, yeah, uh, I do like how it's a silver box. It looks quite nice and it makes the colors in the logo really stand out. But this isn't a box review. Uh, that's what the top looks like. Uh, I like the kind of looks like a reading rainbow thing with the computer coming down because this was Commodore's first computer ever in color. Uh, let's take a look at the bottom of the box. Uh, clearly what they want you to know about this computer is there is a lot of software available and most of it are games. I mean, sure, they're listing all the different things you can do, but Sure, you could compose music, I guess, but let's be honest. You're here for the games. If you're buying a VIC-20, that's the most important thing. So, let's take a look at it. Uh, oh, wait, there's a serial number on it. Uh, let's see if I can get that in shot right there. It's a serial number P744796. That's the really rare one. Pretty sure that's like the super sought after one that everyone wants. Uh, the previous owner looks like they gave us some some newspaper to pack it in. That was nice of them. Uh, it is all modern newspaper. It'd be cool if it was actual, you know, from the '80s. But no, it's all modern. Nothing fancy. Okay, should we look at? Ooh, it's even in bubble wrap? How nice. Uh, I say we look at the accessories first. Also wrapped in newspaper. Hmm. We have the switch box with the little uh, Hmm. The connector that goes to your, what is it, UHF, VHF connectors. Very cool. And then we have... I can guess what this is just by the weight of it. This. Holy cow. That's the power supply, and it is... That's easily got to be uh, four or five pounds. That's ridiculous. There is, you could seriously, seriously commit crimes with this. You could, I mean, it's basically a brick. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It is a literal power brick. Uh, you'll notice it is the two prong connector. We'll get into that a little more when you see the actual computer. Anything else in the top here? Nope, just more newspaper. Okay. does look like we don't have any manuals in here for this thing. It's lucky that randomly our Commodore 64 came with the manuals for a VIC-20. It all works out. Uh, so I have to take those and put them in this box. Here's the computer itself. Gotta unwrap it like a mummy. I mean, I guess it kind of is a mummy. It is ancient. Here we are. Gotta get all the... I 
I don't care how old you are, that's still fun. Those out of the way, I don't like that they're in shot. Here we go. So, uh, I like this computer quite a bit. I think it's a very fun computer. But it's pretty weird to see this for me because this is the original Model VIC-20. The one I used uh, previously was the revision. There are two big notable differences between the two. First of all, this Commodore VIC-20 logo is completely different uh, on the revision. It's actually in color with the... I don't know which one looks better. The gold is pretty classy though. Uh, the same goes for the power indicator over here. Uh, let's... Keys feel near identical to how the Commodore 64s do. Uh, the other big difference, which I alluded to before, is that uh, the power indicator er, um, input here is a two-prong thing, whereas the later model uses the same connector the Commodore 64 does. Uh, you'll also notice that, like our Commodore 64, which you know I've previously unboxed, this is not a standard system. It's been modified. Someone changed out the on and off switch for this very satisfying feeling switch. It's quite nice, actually. I don't know why you do that, but they did. Uh, you got all your ports back here. Very cool. Uh, there's where your cartridges would go in, which is probably the most important thing for this computer because 3.5K of RAM is not very usable. I do like the color of the VIC-20 better than the color of the Commodore 64. It's more of like an eggshell color, I guess. I'm sure there's a better color descriptor, whereas the C64 is more like a charcoal color. And I think I like this better. But that's everything in the box. I don't have any manuals or anything to go through. So uh, I think we're gonna end it here. Uh, I'm gonna say thanks for watching. And uh, please make sure, if you have not done so yet, to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we just picked this com computer up, which means you know there's going to be a first look video of it. Uh, also, we've got tons of other cool computers we're adding to our collection, so stay tuned for that. And if you'd like to, you can check out our Discord, where you can talk to me directly and tell me your favorite memories with the VIC-20. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.